What's up, what's up, everybody? Henry from Fun Game Reviews. And let's get into a little bit of Guild Clash action. We are going to be fighting against a Genesis. As you can see, here are the scores so far. All right, so looking good for us as we speak. Let's go check out the first battle, which is going to be from Abdi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, let's go check it out. Let's go see how well he does coming in from that south side. He is instantaneously going crazy, crazy uh, as he reflects major damage. Uh, this right here is basically what I am kind of working towards building against because most people have been working towards getting uh, like Pangoli. Some people have been doing uh, like Arcane Caster. It all depends. I mean, still, regardless, being able to full, go full frontal and have that, like, reflective damage and have it so that you're pretty much invincible really makes a big, fat difference. So my, my new goal of my main five hero lineup got to be just like Abdi. It's going to be Arcane Caster, Enchantress, uh, Toxic Shaman, Abyss Demon, Penthesilia, and so on so definitely we're going to be working our way to continue to try to push big fat damage and make sure that it definitely counts damn it so here we go we are pushing along very nicely we are killing abdi is definitely rocking them out and the fact that he has penthesilia bubble down really makes a huge difference it just like completely changes up the game without a doubt all right so there you guys can see he is struggling a little bit uh, his heals are not as optimal as he should have had it. Uh, but regardless, you guys can see with one minute left, he is literally cleaning up this base very nicely. Penthesilia going in, shooting everybody. Toxic Shaman going in. Everybody just cleaning it up. All right. Abdid versus a wall manga. All right. All right. So you guys can see literally 5.9 million damage from... Uh, Arcane Caster, 4 million from Toxic, 2.7 from Miss Enchantress. Ridiculous damage, guys. This is basically the lineup, guys. Look at that. He has the seven hero set lineup. It's just ridiculous power, man. Power, power, power. I love it. All right. So next, uh, we are going to go check out mine. Uh, but you guys can see, I mean, even though I fight, I fought Spud, I felt like it was kind of a waste because, I mean, his HP on his base was so high that I could barely do anything to it. So I started out, I bring out uh, Toxic Shaman specifically so that I can bubble and, and cause more pain to his Pangoli. And then on top of that, I go ahead, try to kill off all his heroes uh, quickly and efficiently here with my Pangoli. So normally I know a lot of people have been doing the double drop. I feel that having one drop at a time is a little bit more efficient due to the fact that you can get the bubbles down. You have that extra bit of time to, to try to stall and prevent uh, or actually force the enemy heroes to use their divines on you so that you can go ahead and just plow right through the base. So let me uh, zoom out for you. You guys can see what's going on in the bottom corner there we are definitely pushing them back we are definitely clearing them down so there you guys can see all the heroes are pretty much dead as we speak and we got speeds we got a biz demon moving forward everybody's moving in for the next kill so yes 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 big freaking damage pangoli goes ahead and shoots it out just rocks them out and then i got my arcane caster going ahead right now reflecting damage Yes, sir, and this should be wiping out all the heroes that are still alive on the enemy side. All right, and then there we go. We gotta, we, we're a little bit struggling right here because we got to try to kill off uh, Ambrosia because Ambrosia can definitely be a real pain in the butt. Um, so you can see that, that freaking dragged my Abyss Demon all the way out there, really far away from my, my main heroes here. Um, so literally that causes a little bit of problems, but let's go ahead. We're going to speed it up. I give my, my abyss demon speeds just in case to make sure that he has the heals that he requires, but you guys can just see, like, I am literally just stuck. I am purely stuck right here because his, like, this is a, this is one of the keeps or I think it was one of the towers, but it's like, he has so much HP 
that no matter that all my heroes are hit attacking, it's not even like penetrating through this base. Like the life of uh, every bit of the defenses are just taking long, long, long times just to, to get taken out. But there it is, 7 million damage from my Pangoli. And we got 1.6 million from Best Damon. All right, so next we're going to go check out um, Ham the Ham versus Fallon. So here we go. Let's go check out the Ham versus Fallon. So here we comes from the east side. All right, so Ham is kind of doing the same attack, uh, same approach as me a little bit. Uh, but, ooh, but then he comes out with Arcane Caster. So it definitely does change up the game a little bit more. Um you guys can see it uh that arcane caster is kind of getting eaten alive here he is trying to make sure that they are focusing him uh as he continues to put bubbles down so it's nice that his uh arcane caster can actually tank for that long it, it survived uh but yeah his main goal was to make sure that enchantress uses her divine so that when he goes for the full frontal assault he should not have too many problems all right so there we go Goes ahead, reflects. We bring back all dead heroes and continues to push tremendously against the enemy. Oh, yeah. So the Ham's definitely walking through. He has Enchantress buff out. And he enslaved... Uh, looks like he enslaved three heroes. Uh, so freaking A, man. He, he, he is in control of over 10 plus heroes. Let's go watch out for his cleanup. So boom. Just melting it, baby. Melting it. All right. Good job, the ham. Good job, my brother. All right. So let's go check out my last attack here. Um, my last ag uh, attack against Thor Torm Cakes. Torm Cakes. So let's go see how well I do versus Torm Cakes. So like again, what I wanted to do here in this base is I wanted to take Enchantress and Pangoli. I wanted to make it so that they both use their divines and waste it on me. So as of right now, I mean, I am trying to make it so that I'm trying to lure them. Uh, but you can see that they're not being lured yet. So my Toxic Shaman is just kind of chilling out for a quick minute. He is pushing. And then now officially they come in with all divines, everything uh, from Pangoli and everything. And they are going to see if I can get them wasted. So here we go. We got Bubble right on top of all those heroes so we're good toxic shaman is going to be going down very soon once he goes down i'm going to get ready to get my pangoli out and then we're going to try starting a couple more shots so there you go enchantress was converted immediately and then literally killed immediately as well but sadly it came back to as a resurrection um so it does give me a little bit of trouble. But here we go. Coming in from the south side. We are pushing very inten very intensely. And uh, literally we got only like two heroes left. So that's good. Uh, we, most of them all became my toxic shaman slaves. It's looking good. And literally right now we are trying to push along here. And you got to remember this one is uh, I believe either a sentry or a tower. I don't remember exactly which one it was. Uh, but just guild clash, man. They have so much HP. It's not even funny. The bases just like survive nonstop. No matter how hard you push, they just like survive through it all. It is crazy. All right. Uh, so there it is. I mean, I'm trying to do all the damage that I can to continue and, and make sure that uh, I, I get the highest points uh, possible available to me. Oh, man. So at 32 seconds left, you can see I am kind of struggling. I have, uh, I'm literally just plowing at the base as hard as I can, but it, it's just so much HP, man. Trying to kill keeps and, and towers is just ridiculously hard here. So that is pretty much it right there, guys. 5 million damage from my Pangoli. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed watching don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Henry from Fun Game Reviews. I'm out. Have a good one, guys. All right.